This home with plywood covering the doors and windows has already been foreclosed on. According to foreclosureradar.com, the former owners owed $601,000 to the bank. When it went up for auction, the opening bid was almost $190,000 less than that. And still, it got no bidders. This Concord home had an opening bid of $315,000, $150,000 less than what it originally sold for. It also got no bids. Take a look at this house. The original owners bought it for $720,000 back in May 2006. Now that it's been foreclosed on, the bank dropped its price by $300,000. And again, there were no bidders. Foreclosureradar.com attributes these drastic price reductions to the pressure the banks are under to sell these homes. I'm on the courthouse steps in Martinez. This is where foreclosed homes are auctioned off. Some days, lots of people show up, but lately, business has been slow. Today, only a handful of bidders showed up. Going once. And no one made any bids on any of the homes up for auction. Even with the banks taking huge losses, the investors aren't biting. To a degree, they're pretty cheap, but everybody's sitting on their hands waiting for them to get cheaper. Investors aren't buying because the real estate market is still too slow. The loan amount is still too high. Are there any further bids? And the price they can resell these homes for is still too low. In Martinez, I'm Maureen Kelly, Cron 4 News.